Hello. Uh, in this episode of Finno Ugric Machining, uh, we are going on with the repair, uh, repair, um, clean up and uh, overhaul of uh, of uh, this uh, um, Solberga uh, drill press. And uh, today uh, I have already taken it out. As you can see, there is no spindle, no, no quill here. Uh, actually, it is here. I'm going to take this apart and then uh, clean up uh, the mess. <laughs> and after that, uh, put it together and tear. Um, for your information, just to show you something, just squirting through the spindle through this uh, hole here the hole opening you get this and squirting some uh, uh, not lubricant some uh, solvent through that hole I'm getting that so it's anybody's quest uh, what is happening when I'm squirting uh, when I'm really cleaning it up and uh, this is uh, yeah, it feels grimy, uh, so it uh, it contains uh, uh, grimy particles in it. So uh, just oiling wouldn't do it. So needs to be cleaned. And furthermore, uh, this has a uh, quill adjustment in the side. This uh, bolt here, you can squeeze it so you, so you can make the hole uh, uh, smaller. If it has some wear, you can uh, compensate it with that one. Nice. Okay, uh, now I start taking this apart. Uh, I have uh, two bearings and uh, whatever there. Let's see how this goes. I got it uh, finally apart without ultraviolence. And this was really nice because there are some bearings. Hammering uh, bearings, for example, is not uh, what my thought of uh, taking things apart. They should be gently tapped. Uh, let me show you. Yes, I use the hammer. This one. <laughs> and uh, this one. But not this one. For the uh, castle nuts, I use this one and gentle tap with uh, this one for the other one. and. Well, they came quite easily apart. And uh, now, the next uh, thing is to wash this. Uh, they had, as I just, these had, as I suspected, a lot of uh, black stuff inside, which was not black grease. <laughs> it was oily, it was black, and felt like uh, sandpaper. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Uh, not the best uh, possible uh, smear, uh, lubrication. Smear uh, und uh, heißt das in Deutsch. So, yes, uh, well, uh, yeah, I will now start uh, cleaning these parts.
Now I'm doing uh, the anti-ding operation. And uh, some of these parts have very uh, bad uh, dings, which uh, makes them uh, quite uneasy to install. So, for example, this one. This is uh, the part that goes uh, into inside the, it's at the end of the Morse table. And then you push your drill here, uh, the uh, tail, tongue of the, uh, of the drill goes into this slot. And yes, this is uh, quite a lot of mushroomed and it was not easy to push out from there. Uh, well, it uh, should be so that it's easy to push out uh, this part. Actually, it's uh, all been placed by a double pin, spring pin. So let's see how hard. No, how hard. Uh, well, I should uh, attach it to the vise before filing. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Like that. Let's see how hard this is. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, actually. No, it's uh, mild. So I just take away the burst from this uh, corner. Like that. And the other way around as well. Uh, this can be done in hand. This is, I thought that this would be hard, but th this is not hard at all, actually. This is soft. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can feel how your file is grabbing into those. Oh, oh no, this one needs to be in the, in the rise to get properly filed. And maybe a bigger file as well. Which, which was also a little bit, this one, it's also mushroomed because somebody had been hammering it into there. Okay, and plus, but not with this side. Okay, I believe this is a lot easier to put in now. Next is this, which is, uh, well, if you can see, hopefully you can see this. Um, in this case we have uh, three punch marks here, each side. So, uh, I doubt this was the original intention. It was just to keep the double pin, uh, which goes through this hole, in place. Uh, well, uh, there are this is a very good method. Uh, it uh, mushrooms the hole so that it, the pin doesn't come out easily. Well, it didn't come easily out. Uh, I had to hammer it uh, quite hard. But, when doing this, you also mushroom, mushroom the surface and this is quite tight in the place where it is going. So, this is not the preferred method. I believe uh, some glue is better in this case. And uh, now I can glue it because I have cleaned these parts. 
Oh yeah, now it's better. Ah, oh, this one has uh, same same trouble. Okay, then let's feel these corners. These seem to all be all right. Okay, there is some uh, dings here on the side. Just taking away the highest parts. Yeah, and another. Oh, somebody had bite scripts around this one. Or something. Hmm. Okay, let's see if my stone is doing any good here. Yeah. Okay, there is one high spot there. Yeah. Okay, the inside then. Well, it stays in place, so inside is not important in this uh, case. So, well, there you are. Now it should be sliding. Uh -huh. Next part will be this nut, which uh, is badly, badly, badly mushroomed. Uh, lucky me, the functional surfaces are not mushroomed, but uh, uh, well, uh, this is a uh, typical block nut thing. Yeah, this is the safe edge. So now I'm just making the, the sides straight. Well, of course, this doesn't uh, repair the nut, but it makes it a bit more easier to put in place. Should I do the bottom as well? Yeah, okay. Now it's bad. And the other side, which I think is, oh, it's uh, even worse. Itself. Uh, uh, I don't know whether this has things, but I'll check out because uh, and this is the reason why I'm having this uh, stove. And now, let's see. My soft shows are dropped away. Well, they are aluminium, so they are not magnet. <coughs> well, let's see. This doesn't need to be super tight, but enough to hold it in place. Okay. Let's see now. Nothing. Really bad. This is all right, I believe. 
Okay. Next it is this. This one I will do next, and this has some things I can uh, tell right away. Well, here at the end we have some. Hmm. Yeah. Even a small uh, thing like this one can uh, <laughs> can break you. And this is okay. Yeah. Uh, this is not needed, but uh, this edge is uh, right uh, with the ra uh, rack. But uh, nevertheless, I want to make it. Uh, a little bit unsharp because uh, now it's really, really sharp and you can hurt yourself there. Okay. Oh, is that a ding? How is it possible to have beans here? Oh, ha. No, yeah, it was a dean. Oh. Remarkable. <coughs> okay. So, now, uh, next thing uh, will be to put it together. The quill is now ready. Oh well, uh, don't need to go to the gym. So, uh, this is new. This is actually the um, device that uh, ejects the, the drill. It didn't do this earlier. It was filled uh, with uh, uh, grinding dust and grease. Combination of those two. What I will do next is to clean and this uh, uh, up to here, up to about here, and uh, just uh, well, visual cleanup. Oh yeah, there is some uh, functional cleanup uh, on on this one, and uh, well, uh, and uh, I need to clean it up, and uh, well, yeah, okay, I will do that. in uh, the quill. <laughs> uh, this is uh, cleaned, has a liberate amount of grease in the rack, in the rack and also in the splice. So uh, especially in the splice when I push it up it will actually, uh, well, uh, it will uh, get a lot of grease uh, into the splice. So let's see how this goes. Uh, please note there is no Huh. Okay, this works or not, it does work. Oh yeah. <laughs> now the creeps. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Ah, it might be that. <sighs> there is this uh, adjustment. Oh, now when I put it there, it should not. Yeah, good. Ah, yeah. 
Let's see if I can loosen that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is now done. Uh, coil is there. The uh, next step is to put the uh, uh, feed system there. Um, uh, that I will be, uh, do next. Well, here it is. It's quite heavy. Expecting it. So this was already tight. Now just ensure that uh, nothing is loose here. No. So this is free to move. Good. Oh, yeah. And yeah. And here is the handle. Uh, Okay, it has a key somewhere. Where somewhere? Okay, quite up. There you are, the key goes into here. Yeah. It's very nice to put these together when uh, the things are clean. We have a cover here. Let's cover the cover. Yeah. Uh, this is also easy enough. Just put it there. And the shorter one of these is this side. The longer one this side. automatic feed in place. Uh, that was a quick installation. The next thing will be the spring. There is a set screw under here somewhere. Yeah, this is the key for that one. And uh, I should see this going up like this. Uh, this brake is uh, uh, in quite a place. Yeah, this is a quill brake actually. When this is tightened it locks the quill uh, all together. And uh, yeah, now I need to tighten this. Let's see how much tension do we need. Uh, I can feel here that it's not a lot. It's actually quite little. Hm. I wish I had. Uh, well, how far? Oh, this is good. Yeah, now I can do it. Now I can do it without any trouble. Put this in place already. I can tighten it more if needed. A little bit more. There you go. I 
hope this I wish it could uh, lift the drill as well. <laughs> and now let's wipe this again. Okay, now let's see the automatic fit system. Well, if I engage it. Uh -huh. Ah, you have to. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I turn this, it should fly back when it reaches. Oh, if this is tight enough. <laughs> didn't work at all uh, when I was doing this the first time. Now it works like a dream. Yeah. So uh, this means that uh, if you want to take the drill out, uh, it's, uh, th it's this lever here, uh, in the side. Then you just knock here and there you are. Now it works. today for this uh, Solberga drill press. We have now uh, cleaned and uh, uh, serviced in a way uh, the gear, the feed gearbox, the quill, the axle gear. Um, I might do it later but uh, I won't. Uh, I believe uh, it's in a very good condition at the moment, so there is probably no need to open it. But if it makes horrible sounds, I will open that one too. But um, I don't have the VFD at the moment, it's uh, uh, on the way. But uh, we have uh, something else to do here. <laughs> uh, the table. In the next episode of Fino Greek Machining, I will start. Uh, cleaning uh, the table. Till then, bye!